Right, hello everybody. I'm back to my gel, gel plant, plate, rather. Um, so I thought I would do a try it Tuesday. I'm thinking of spring colours. I need to get motivated in those colours. Um, so I, I've got my big one, but you don't need to use your big ones. Just that I want to sort of um, leave some colours on it because I love the way what's happened here. And I wish it was all over because that would have given some fantastic results. So I want to work on this big plate. It's annoying me. <laughs> and I've got my other biggish one here because that's not hardly been used at all. So that needs some work on it. Um, what have I got? I've got, my two, I've got two big brayers and a small one. But again, you only need one. I've got, oh, I've got my new paints that, um, my husband bought me for Christmas. Some of the, what was it, D Dina Waitley. Yeah, which I do follow her anyway. And I thought it was just nice to have some, I, I like her colour. I like her colour palette. It can be quite bright, but sometimes I do, I do need a little bit of colour. I love my vintage, but now and again, I like a bit of colour and I use quite a lot of bright colours in my art journal so i just thought right i'll bring you along on what i'm doing so i'm going to class this as a try it tuesday i've got some book pages and everything that i thought what might be nice so these not like need a white base on first and then a bit of color after we'll just see what happens i've got white paper as usual i've got some this thin sort of tissuey paper so I can print on that again you know if you, if you like the grungy side of gel printing which is I do as well which is lovely please check out check out Robin I shall put her link below for a channel I think I'd, I'd done that when I first done my first try it Tuesday with the, the gel plate because she's been a great inspiration to me I must say and I find her very relaxing to watch and i've also got all different things here does some of the scrapbook cards some have already got bits on yeah i'll just pick the ones that mainly haven't got much on yeah and i use the backs of these and then i cover that so this, you know they're all here and i do do things at the side of me here i can't show everything i'm afraid but all i do is when i bray her here i bray her off onto some paper whatever paper's there okay i don't really mind what it is i'm trying to find a place for those and so when you're doing this you need a little bit of room so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is put the maps on the top first yep they are going on my pile here so when i bray her off I pray her on there. Right, what I need to sort of perfect or get better at, which I notice is less is more with a gel plate. I prefer that sort of very grungy, less paint. Yeah, so I think if I ever get too much paint on, I'm going to take it off, you know, and do something else with it, like on the side of me. So colours, right, what have I got? I've got my usual pull-off paint, but I'm going to use a lot of white background on some of the um, book pages. So I've got the um, Vivid White. I've got Buff Titanium. This is a nice for vintage -y look. Yeah, and I have Titanium White, which I like as well. And I've got Cadmium. I love this yellow. So I've got that yellow there. And I've also got this, which I thought was very spring-like. And that's no idea where that come from, but I've got it. So I'm going to use it. Um, and then, of course, I've got the nice, I mean, we're, we're talking spring here. It's quite a nice colour too, actually. Well, yeah, but they, they run out of some of my colours. So they give me what they had there's not much yellow in there so but i've got a nice blue but i'm gonna try and stay away that i mean those look at those colors together 
with a yellow would have been nice, but I haven't got, oh, that's quite nice. I might stick with those. I think that's a bit too candy floss pink for me. But they do remind me of spring. Oh, apricot as well is quite a nice colour. Yeah, I don't want to go too much. I don't want to use too much. That's white. That's okay. I don't know. I've got the big one on the white. So I'm looking at maybe that palette. Sort of. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, with a bit. I haven't got any pink there, but I've got that pink, which is a really nice tone. And I like that yellow. It's not really spring yellow, though, but I really like it. So I'm not sure whether I've got another yellow. I'll just have a little look. Right, I found this Naples yellow, which I think is quite a nice spring colour. Um, I've got my Dilusions ones as well, but they're all quite bright, those. I've got some, that's quite a nice green, which but it's cheap, it's thin, but it does for, and that, that's just from B&M or somewhere like that. It's really cheap. Um, I've got linen there, and I've got these ones. That, again, these are very thin but good to use them up because they're old they're old stuff if you know what i mean so i put all mine in a basket which i'm going to use and and with white and that i'll keep to that color palette i'll keep i will put that one in but i'm not sure now now i've got the other one right, so and then the whites on the top of that so that's my sort of paint tub that i use and that can go out of the way. So right, um, let's have a look. I need some. I'm going to do some white first. I haven't got much texture. No word texture. I've got a piece of cardboard. <laughs> um, I've got that at the moment. Okay, which I thought was quite nice. I haven't got any stencils because if they're good enough, I'll scan them in. So I won't use stencils. Um. And I've got a bit of that, which I quite like. And I've also got, um, you know, the bathroom mat, <laughs> which is there. Cheapo one from B&M, $1.99 or something. Well, these make good, good impressions, which I will show you that. So I'm going to stay quite basic with that. Because what I want to do is just have a good base. Yeah, for my tags. And then it's what we do with it after that, you know, creates a tag, really. Right, okay. Oh, my hands are a bit cold today, folks. So I'm going to start off with some white because I want to do some book pages. So, and it's a good way of... So I shouldn't really put it all in one area, really. Right, okay. <laughs> Should do that. Let's have a look. This will all come off in a minute. It must be on here. It's got a bit of fluff on it, but it doesn't matter for now. Right. And I'll put a book page on that one as well. Okay, just dulls everything down there. I just get this is a good way of what you know getting getting the plate sort of workable. And to us why I'm not using my tag straight away. it again don't forget
that you need a lot less paint than this if you are a smaller plate. I should use the other. It's, right, it's only white anyway, so it's all right. But I had the clean one for that, didn't I? Which I put over there. A little bit too much paint there. So again, I'm braying off. I'm going to get some of the darker pages now for this. So. I don't know where I'm picking up the fluff actually. I think it's off my brayer somewhere. A little bit more on that one now. That's all right. And I'll put some of these down. Okay, that's great. Just gotta be a bit more careful. Okay. Well, these are really fragile, mine. So. Oh wow! Paint's come off there, so I'm going to use that. Okay. See all that white there. And a bit there and some here so the print is coming off of those pages brilliantly so we shall use it didn't on this one but that's okay so I'll leave that dry so what we actually need now is a dark base <laughs> So I am going to pull those off there. There's not, there's a little bit on that one there, but not much, but there's lovely stuff going on here. Yeah. And a great bit there. Right. So what we need is something darker. Ooh, what am I going to pull off with yellow? I don't think I've got any. I'm loving that. I've got some blue ones actually. I'm just gonna, because I don't want to waste that. I'm going to get some of my blue ones, papers, and I'm going to use them those. Right, I have one like this I done last year. Okay, so I'm hoping this white will going to pick up on here. So I might do a very light blue. I think. Let me try that. come up then right. a bit have but not a much but there's still a bit there yeah so i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna i'm gonna put a little bit of white on now actually 
Right, hold on. Let's see. This is interesting. Like that. Leave that. Let that dry. Nice colours though. Yeah, oh, I like the way it's picked up this here. Yeah, love that colour. Not sure whether my writing's going to... I think we've got a bit on here, definitely. We have. Look at that. How cool is that? And that book page. Yeah, I'm loving that. So that one is going to be cat blue though I want like a sky blue but I'm <laughs> so drawn to this colour no it's that one wasn't it that was like, so, ah this is sky blue so I'm going to put a little bit on there I'm leaving that lane. I'm going to put some yellow on there in a minute. I need my colours somewhere else. There we go. Okay. So again, we are. Um, oh, I'm going to put white on first, and then I'm going to do some more book pages. See if I can get some more white in, because I'm still staring at this one. It's just great. Oh, I love that. I should put a bit of yellow and everything on in a minute, and a bit of pink and. No, nope, none on that one. Oh, isn't that weird how that, oh gosh, it's so brittle. <laughs> so. Yeah, extremely brittle. Shall I put that in a collage? clear gesso before we start on those book pages would help all this because yeah they're breaking up yeah 
yes so i'm definitely no expert at this it's all a learning curve to me as well but i thought you know what let's do it A nice pattern on there, wouldn't it? I'm just um, putting a little bit of paint over that. See. blue on there right i want a bit of pink i'll use a bit of that oh it's quite runny that one a little bit nice though think much to come off of that one there see I wasn't going to do that but something happened with that paper and left bits behind and I'm still looking at this one <laughs> I'm just, well it's my favorite color for a start <laughs> nothing come up there. it's most probably because i'm using the wrong background or whatever it needs to be if it's white text it needs to be on something really dark so but still lovely it's still nice background there and i like that bit of pink on there so that's great right um let's have a bit of yellow i've got an idea let's have a bit of this As you can see, I'm leaving that alone, that one, for a minute. Let's have a bit of that. And I shall most probably put a bit of yellow on there. Text transfer it's a matter of getting the paint consistency right when you do it which you know it's either you either have got it or you haven't i think <laughs> North Cornwall, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, do you know what? My husband goes mad because I really don't know <laughs> my um, geography of Cornish geography very well. 
I do make him laugh though. Which is the main thing, I think. <laughs> Bad enough trying to pronounce the names. Okay. So I know we've got to be careful with those. Oh, look at this happening. This is getting good here. Okay, yeah, we have got a bit on there. Not much, though. A little bit. But I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, a nice bit of yellow on there. That's a nice spring colour. And nothing on that one. Definitely think it was these um, fragile ones. Yeah, it was. Look at that. I don't know whether you can see it. Sorry, my arm. Yeah, it's definitely those old ones. There's a bit all here and there. Okay. Well, that's fine. So I will put white over that now and then we'll have yellow text. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to have a bit of blue. Um, now that's doing its thing over there. This is funny blue, though. So it separates this one. It still works, but it's a bit old. but it, it doesn't spread that well might need a bit of a shake do you know what i'm gonna go over with blue i think well i'm gonna get uh, enough on my brayer huh? if it's not enough on it it'll take off that text Oh, that's very yellow, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I prefer looking at blue. <laughs> Sorry, I've got I've, I'm yellow is not my favourite colour, as you know. Yellow and green have always struggled with. Okay. I can't wait to use a bath mat actually. Um, yeah. Waste. Yes, I must get some of that because I love that. Something I got from the scrap store. Actually, I haven't looked at that. Sometimes I only want a little bit, so just to fill in. Oops.
Oh, and that's turned out quite nice. That, I would just coffee stain that and leave that as it is. I really like that. Yep. Okay, let's put a bit of pink on that one. Oops. Oh, shouldn't have done that, should I? <laughs> <gasps> uh, messy, I'm uh, messy already. Far too much on there. You don't have to use you know you can use um you can just put it on here but i've um and do it if you because you might not have another one of these but i just find it works for me all right because i find that because i was always always using too much paint honestly until i started doing this and i get far better results right i'm actually quite liking that I just want a bit more paint not much just there right I'm gonna leave that dry and then I'm gonna pick up with white okay I've got loads here though um let's put them on Okay. And that's a nice, soft, subtle background. I'm just going to do is see if I can pick up any from here. Yeah. Get what I'm getting now is a piece of copy of paper. I want a nice clean white. Okay, I'm going to put white down now. I'm trying desperately to keep it really light. Yeah. see all this happening because this is getting really good okay there have I got any tags Not losing, if we can pick any up there um, maybe not nothing but we'll see Let me see what happens. Get this one first. Lovely. I'm liking that. That I would cut down. That that's great. I'm going to keep that one. So I like the colours on that. Oh, that was quite interesting. Just do the other side a bit, and that would be nice. Uh, 
Look at this one. Yes. How cool is that? <laughs> that punchinella works beautifully, doesn't it? But the corrugated stuff there. Corrugated cardboard, I should say. Well, I'm happy with that one. So I'll leave that. I want some of this going on here. <laughs> I really do, because I love it. Um, wait, I'm going to have a white base. I'm just wondering if we can get... I don't like the... Um, What do you call it? The straight edge. So I'm going to cut mine up. I like that. I've left that go for about ooh, three minutes. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get this going a bit. I'm still going to use this as palette. I'm not worrying what's happening there. I want a bit of blue. I'm liking my blue and white. <laughs> uh, that as well it's not enough paint to pick up but again I don't want too much because I'm I think this is gonna be nice I'm gonna do that and I most probably will leave that to dry and then some white on oh, I might have a bit of yellow <laughs> I'm going mad here we go here it starts oh pink <laughs> let's have a bit of pink do I want this one yeah, a bit of pink and then pick up the white Um, like that. There we go. You wouldn't have seen that, but 
Okay, I'm liking that one. That reminds me a bit of spring. A bit of yellow on it. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to leave them for a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay, here it goes. Got a lot on that one. That I'll need more on, definitely. But this, I'm keeping all on here. Okay, that's okay. A bit on there. That's a nice background. I would need to add a bit more colour, of course, but I'm liking that. For what's going on in the background, it's great. Oh, going really blue. I'm just going to go sort of pink and yellow. And oh, let's do that one first. That's there. A bit pink on. <laughs> I need more pink. There. And there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've got to finish now because so I'm going to go and bake some bread. Um, so we're having our cookery time with my youngest. Oh, she's 17, but. Like I said in previous videos, I've got um, we try and do something every day with him because he's been um, struggling with lockdown. I'm afraid. So it's two o'clock nearly here in the UK. So I am going to put put that on, put some yellow on, and I'm going to leave it on the plate. I'm not going to clean it. And then I'll sort of break it up when I come back. And I'm going to do the same with that one. A bit of yellow. Oh, I didn't use many of those colours, did I? <laughs> I've got them. I didn't use any orange. No, that's not, that's not going to be nice. Get a bit of linen. Do a bit of that as well. That's the linen one. I'm just going to have that there. And pink. No, not pink. Yellow. Let's have that one there. some of that down I didn't get you oh and this okay a bit wrong there but that's all right Okay. 
I put a yellow in there. Lovely. Now what I want to do is take that off, take that off, and done that, put some yellow bits, oh, not enough on there, that's a shame, see, look at that, <laughs> that looks lovely, right, one more bit on there I think, I'm going to pick that one up, it's looking really good. Again, that looks lovely. I actually want some of this, I think. Oh, that's really nice. And put it up there. I was going to leave it all on there, but I'm liking what I'm doing. Let's see if we can get. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, right. And that I'm leaving. Okay, right. I shall. See you tomorrow in my time, but it will be today in your time. <laughs> Speak soon.